What's up, YouTube? I'm Josh, and this is another episode of Beard Meets Flavor. Today, I'm going to show you how to make crockpot green chili chicken that will set you up for the week. A super simple dish that you can literally put on everything. Easy, delicious, your family will love it. Stick around, I'll show you what's up. Guys, I'm sorry. Uh, last night was Christmas party night, and um, apparently camera wife uh, went a little hard in the paint, and uh, she ruined the whole first video. So you're not going to get to see me put these beautiful chicken boobies in the in the crock pot. You're not going to get to see me put, he's even pissed about it. You're not going to get to see me put the New Mexico Hatch green chilies in the pot, or even see me put in uh, the chicken broth, because... Why? I don't know if you heard her because we got the new mic system, but she said because I messed up. So come take a look, camera wife. Okay, so we got beautiful chicken boobies, green chili, chicken stock, just to where we're about covering everything. Okay, we're going to pop this bad boy on, uh, on, on low for eight hours or high for four hours. So the cool thing about this is that you can, before you go to work, throw this together, put it in the crock pot. It'll cook. When you come home, dinner's ready. Uh, we didn't put in uh, any seasonings, anything like that, because I want this to cook. And then I'll season later so I can really get an idea for how it uh, tastes. Uh, sometimes chicken broth will have a little salt in it, so you don't want to oversalt it. He's, uh, he's rowdy today, but, you know. Um, so that's where we're at. So we're going to come back after work and uh, show you our chicken boobies. We're going to shred it and I'm going to show you all the different ways you can use this meat. Uh, we used <laughs> six chicken breasts in here. You can make more, you can make less depending upon your family size. The cool thing about this uh, is this is something that, you know, if you make a bunch of, you can use, you know, throughout the week, super easy dinners. Um, shout out to my mom because this is uh, one of my mom's recipes um, that I'm going to just go ahead and steal and turn into content. So love you, Ma. All right. We'll come back in uh, some time and we'll, uh, we'll show you what we got. So we just got home from work. Huh? And look what we got here. Look at this. Steamy, delicious. Beautiful. All right, so now I've got some accoutrement, accoutrement cut up here. I've got some uh, cilantro, some sweet onion, some uh, aguacate. All right, so we're going to just take one of the. Oh, my gosh. Can't even. These, these little chicken. Oh, boy. These little chicken boobies are ready. Look at this. Ready to? Ready this? Mm -hmm. Ready this? Ready this. Oh no, chicken boobies just falling apart all over the place. Oh boy. Those poor chicken boobies are just beside themselves. So we're going to take our six chicken boobies. We're going to shred them up like so. Put them in this bowl. Then we'll season them. So let me shred the chicken boobies. We'll come back. We'll season, and I will show you how to make a bajillion dishes out of this one crock pot of chicken that cooked while you were at work. Stick around. Got the chicken shredded. Uh -huh. Chicken boobies. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of salt. Not a ton, because the jus has salt. That's probably enough. Just pinch. I'm going to pepper. Like so. Take a little bit of garlic powder. A little bit of cumino. Cumin. Okay. Come on, big boy. Okay. And of course, because we love it, a little bit of chipotle chili powder. Good. 
All right, so now we're going to get a, a ladle. Take some of this. Let's get rid of all these guys. A ladle. We're going to take a ladle full of the broth over here. Maybe two. Okay, so we got some of that broth, those green chilies, everything in there. And then we're just going to mix it up. Incorporate those seasonings real nice. Okay, that's it. So this is the one dish to rule them all, right? So with this, I'm going to show you a couple of things you can do with this dish, make it super easy. So first thing we're going to do, uh, got some rice from the rice cooker. Our uh, satanic butter dish. We're going to get, uh, I like to take the, the rice I've seasoned and oiled when I was cooking it with some salt. I'm going to take some, just a little bit of butter. Okay. Get this little rice paddle guy. We're just going to incorporate that rice, or incorporate that butter into the rice. The butter adds a real nice richness to the um to the rice. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm take this bowl here. Some rice. Take this bowl here. Just a little bit of rice. Okay. Easy. Now, I'm going to take We'll just use our hands. Fuck it. Go. Mound of chicken. Mound of chicken. Okay. Put a little more because let's get wild. Easy. Put this back here. Let's get our ladle. So on this one, we're just going to use the broth to kind of season the rice and the chicken a little bit. So I'm just going to use... One ladle full. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to take this broth. Fill it up. So now we've got a little bit of soup. Take some fresh chopped sweet onions. A little bit of cilantro. Take these avocado babies. Okay. Beautiful. So here's simply two examples of what you can do with this chicken meat. Again, took no time at all. We made this while we were at work all day, came home, chicken was ready. I've got a rice, chicken and rice dish, green chili chicken and rice dish. I've got some uh, green chili chicken soup. You can put the chicken on quesadillas, nachos, tacos, burritos. Uh, you can put it in a bun and make a sandwich, whatever. But you can make this on a Sunday or a Monday, come home, have dinner, and then use the same meat to have a different meal every single night of the week. Super, super easy, super delicious, I guarantee you. Uh, we're gonna shoot a little bit of B-roll. We'll come back, we'll taste it. All right, this is it. The moment we've all been waiting for. If you stuck around this long, do me a favor, like, subscribe, ring that notification bell and tell your friends. Let's see what we got. So we're going to let the beard meet the flavor. We're going to do a couple things. First, we're just going to try this baby raw, right? Not raw. It's cooked, obviously. What's up, clickety-clack? 
All right. Ma'am. All right, so the chicken, first off, is super, super tender. Um, that green chili really comes through. It's super moist. A little bit of that cilantro, that onion. Delicious. I mean, literally, like I said, you can put this on anything and be stoked. So I prepared a couple of super easy iterations of the dish. Got kind of a chicken and rice bowl and a little soup du jour. Since it's winter here in Vegas, well, I guess it's winter every year in the United States, but it's cold here in Vegas. So we're going to start with the soup. Give it a little mixy mix. And then the, the heat of the broth is going to really open up that cilantro and uh, give, you some, give you some tang. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. Yeah, that's amazing because we started with the chicken broth, obviously, and then we cooked the chicken in it, so it really deepened that chicken broth, that, that flavor. You get the nice kind of bite of the of the, uh, the rice, a little bit of chewiness. You get the nice bite of the onion, that fresh pop of the cilantro, and, of course, that creaminess of the avocado. If it's cold outside, put this on the table. Nobody's complaining. All right. Now, just got kind of a basic chicken and rice dish. Same thing, a little bit of onion, cilantro. It's basically the same thing as the soup, just less broth and more focus on the rice. Let's do it. Hmm. What's crazy is, like I said, because they're so similar in ingredients, basically the same ingredients, totally different flavor. The richness, the butteriness of the rice really comes through. You get that nice, fresh pop of the onion, that nice, fresh brightness of the cilantro. Again, the creaminess of the, uh, the avocado. Amazing. I mean, this is something that you can make. This would be a perfect dish to make. Take to work, easy, cheap, something nice at home. Like I said, throw it on tacos, make some quesadillas, make some burritos. I don't know. Put it on a sandal, eat it, whatever. It's going to be delicious. So that's all I got for you, YouTube. Thanks for sticking around. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.